Hi guys, for this portion of the Roller Coaster Project TRCP log, we're working on the second part to our fixture plates. As you can see here, we're finishing with the spotting drill. Let's speed it up a little bit. Here we have the finished fixture plate with clamps installed. Now we're going to align it to the tag mill with our machinist square to ensure parallelism. Before we start milling, we must cut some stock out of our two foot long section order from McMaster Car. This is what the finished stock will look like. Notice it's been squared. Here's our first attempt with the bandsaw that you saw in the previous image. We were using a wood blade. This is it right here. Since we didn't have the appropriate blade on hand, we tried with a hacksaw. However, this took way too long, so then we went out and purchased one. This is an 18 tooth per inch bandsaw blade. Notice how it cuts through the aluminum. Pretty much like a hot knife through butter. All cliches aside, let's speed it up. After we have our stock and it's squared, we're going to align our material in the fixture. If we cut it just a little too short, we put a little bit of shim stock in there so that way we have enough clamping pressure. As you can see, we've sped up the milling procedure. Notice we're going a little bit faster than what the machine would normally run. At. After taking off the initial surface, we are here cutting the profile of our finished design. The beautiful thing about a fixture plate is that the repeatability and the precision is already built in. And Mach 3 is doing the work. As you can see here, we're almost done with one car. Yet again, we're going to speed it up. So now we're working on the second car. More Mach 3 action. This is as we cut out the various parts which will incorporate the wheels and other undertracked features. Cutting all of this from a much larger piece of stock produces a lot of chips, and it's usually good to have plenty of coolant to ensure that the end mill's long-lasting life and rigidity are maintained. Let's speed it up again. This is before we cleaned it up a bit. Notice the chips stuck near the clamps. But they did their job. Now we're cutting out the section which will actually hold the wheels. We're using a 3 16 inch carbide tooth flute end mill. After that we need to drill some alignment pins. These pins are going to lock the wheel axles into place. Notice how we have some excess stock? Here we're going to take that off. But let's speed it up again. You get the idea at this point. Aside from some of the pitiful camera work, this will show you what was involved in making these cars. And let's gracefully sweep away the chips. Perhaps the most important part. Now we're going to begin spotting, then drilling, the holes which will align the axles perpendicular to the car itself. We use plenty of cutting fluid. In this case, for aluminum, we're using WD-40. These are the three phases of the aluminum car.
As you can see here, we have some seat mounts. Notice how the holes are drilled right through. That's for our ABS plastic seat backs. As you can see, she's almost ready to roll. In a future video, we'll be testing her out. Be sure to subscribe below to our channel and follow along at therollercoasterproject.com.